Hello my bunnies, it's Tiki Strinkets here and today I have for y'all a vlog style video. Sorry, it was kind of different to say that. I've never said that. But um, I guess I should do stuff like this more often. I don't know if y'all like it, but I'm kind of learning as I go when it comes to YouTube and stuff. Thank you for the two new subscribers that have pushed me into 280. So thank you all very much. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. I don't know who you guys are because some things, some people's accounts it shows me when they sub, some people it don't. I can't see the new subs, but thank you to anyone who subbed recently. I greatly appreciate it. But <laughs> anyways, um, again, this is a vloggy style video where I'm going to be recording from my aerial mount here. I can get to it. My arm mount here, this aerial type mount, where I'm going to be recording me working on Five Nights at Freddy's security breach rings because that is all I'm doing right now. <laughs> It's almost Christmas. It is two days before, three days before Christmas while I'm recording this. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I've just been working on these rings nonstop. My whole life has been Five Nights at Freddy's for the last almost half a week, week now almost. The game came out close to my birthday. My birthday is December 17th. And I think it came out the 16th at like midnight or something. Something like that. It dropped late in the hours. I wasn't able to play it then, but I am playing it now. Um, I'll talk more about that when I'm doing the recording, but yeah, I know I'm still working on the Christmas stickers. I might put that on the back burner since Christmas is almost over. I don't know. We'll see. I still want to do a couple more sculpture things that I haven't been able to yet, so please bear with me. I'm doing the best I can right now, but I am actually swamped with orders, so for once, for the first time in like forever, I'm just actively working on orders, so <laughs> that's what this video is going to be. Me working on these orders and talking while I'm working. I'll try not to make it too long, but and I've already been talking two minutes. But I hope you guys enjoy this so much. And since this is the last video before Christmas, Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you very much. Sorry I haven't been uploading regularly. I've been very busy. I'll talk more about that in the video. Let's get into this. Love you guys. Okay, so i got to turn on my computer taking off my headband. I, like I said, I'm working on stuff. I'm actually already partially through a lot of these, but here, let me just take, I am working on several orders right now without showing you too. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of orders, but, um, and I'm happy about that, obviously, but yeah, I'm working on them in order of what, which ones I've received. I, actually, I'm working a little bit all over the place because I pre-started some things ahead of time, which I'm glad I did because then I received orders for it. Like, I started the sun before I actually got the order. I'm already finished with it. It just has to be baked. But now I'm working on some moons, and I also have to make a foxy ring from FNAF 1 because somebody ordered one of those, too. So, that is, um, numerically the order that I got, um, the farthest away. You know what I mean? the first order I got, so that's the one I'm starting on. I guess I, you see there's three moons in the working here. Moon drops from FNAF Security Breach. I'm just going to move them here next to Sun Drop. These are what I put the rings in whenever I'm gluing and glazing them. It's other spare clay that I don't need anymore. Well, I mean, I could reuse it, obviously, but I'm just trying to make do with what I got. Also, these eyes for the sun drop and moon drop are glow in the dark. But this, this, the glow in the dark clay, gosh, I'm all over the place, did come with a set. And I don't have that much, so I'm trying to make the stretch. If not, I'm going to have to custom mix glow in the dark clay. So that's going to be a little bit difficult. Sorry if it's blinding, y'all. Um, Lord. But yeah, so Foxy first. I'm going to do the lighter colors first. Because once I do red, my hands are just fucking ruined. But I do need to work on their order because it's the oldest order I got. Let me scroll back up so I can see it. Um, yeah, um, I haven't been able to upload regularly. I'm sorry, I've been doing a lot. Life's been busy for me and crazy. Sometimes life is like that, but I'm still uploading as much as I can. I promise that. I'm not giving up on y'all. I love you guys very much. This stuff keeps me alive and going, so I'm not going to quit anytime soon but um just bear with me on the slow uploads i promise i'm doing the best i can sorry i didn't finish the christmas stickers in time but again i might still finish in 
work up on those later. Okay, that's the only pink on him. So, put that back in there. If you're wondering what pink this is, this is Dusty Rose Pink, which is very hard to find right now. Dusty Rose Pink from Sculpey 3 and Turquoise Blue from Sculpey 3 are two of the most frequently used colors I use, and they are also two of the hardest ones for me to buy. Coffee break. Yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to cut bits and pieces to try to make it pleasurable to watch. I'm trying to think. There was a lot I wanted to talk about, so it's all over the place. Yes, these are two different shades of red. I can only get fiery red instead of regular red, but hey, it still works. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy I'm getting cells, but my mind is a train wreck right now. And this is all right before Christmas, so this is like a Christmas miracle, literally. <laughs> Although, I have one bad thing right now. There's a reserve on my account on Etsy because I was a day and a half late on paying my Etsy bill. I thought it would automatically take it out, but apparently I wasn't enrolled in auto billing. So for three months, they're going to withhold 75% of each sale for up to 45 days. So I'm not going to be getting my money until later. Which is fine because I have a second job, but man, if this was my only source of income, that would really hurt me, man. I feel bad if that happens to somebody. And I've looked at the Etsy forums, and yeah, that's happened to a lot of people. Sadly. Again, as I did mention, my birthday just passed. It was December 17th. I just turned 28. And my fiancé got me... Oh, Lord. Headphones. New gaming headphones, which are the same ones he has, which... Let me see if I can show you that. He got me these, the Cloud 2 gaming headset, so I can use them for... I can use them for talking, I can use them for music and videos, for voiceovers, everything I need. <clears throat> I'm talking a lot. <laughs> but yeah, so I can use that for that. Then, what was the next thing? He got me that. And he also bought me, like I said in the beginning, the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach game. I'm playing it on Steam on his computer because he has an actual desktop. I just have a PC laptop. That's all I have. My laptop's not... It's a great laptop, but it's not strong enough to play that game. It lags sometimes on his computer. I couldn't imagine trying to play that on my laptop. My laptop would just crash. Just editing these videos on um, Shotcut about near kills my laptop. I can't even upload a YouTube video over here either because it just can't handle the sheer awesomeness of YouTube. I can't barely even get Etsy listings to upload over at my house. At my fiance's house, it's fine, but they have a faster um, Wi Fi provider than I do, apparently. And ours just sucks. There's no nice way to put it. It just sucks. Let me just make sure I am recording. Okay. <laughs> You ever get that feeling where you're not sure if you're recording and then you're like, oh gosh, have I just been talking into nothing this whole time? Yeah, I I feel that a lot. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> Other than that, it's the week before Christmas, so I've been spending time with friends and family. I need to click on this so I can actually see it a bit better. And... Spending time with friends and family... I might be going to Duluth, Georgia soon to travel. We'll see how that goes. If I do, I'll try to record or do something for it if I can. If not, I'll just tell y'all about it if I can. And what else? What else? We had a work Christmas party at my 9 to 5 job. That was really fun. A lot of drinking, a lot of eating. I'm an adult of age to drink. Sorry, I'm concentrating on these little parts. This is the only reason I don't like the foxy ring. Getting these little fur tufts the right way I want them is hard. I want it to be just perfect every single time. But it's so hard to get these 110% perfect. There we go. Actually, that came out pretty good. That's about the size I want. I try to keep it under an inch. On these rings uh, maybe not so much on sun drop as you can see it's kind of hard to do that with the sun spikes 
But other than that, yeah, I try to keep it under an inch. Um, I do want to put a piece of, jeez, a piece of wire in here. Gosh, didn't want to let me have it for support of his snout. I never thought I'd have so many cells on Etsy that it, I would actually be behind, <laughs> like five orders behind and be frantically running to catch up with them. But sometimes that happens. And, um, gosh, my fingers are sore from cutting little metal sticks with these wire cutters. These wire cutters hurt my hands, but that's the only thing I can cut to put metal in these star spikes. Well, sun spikes and bruh. Imagine, there's seven spikes on each little sun. And I've done three or four already, and I got three or four more to do. Yeah, um, I need a ring base first. I'm gonna, move, I'm gonna need more supplies before the rest of this year is over. And I'm so happy, and I should not sound stressed, because I hadn't had an Etsy sell for December at all. I was thinking I'd get busier close to December. I usually do, but I just, it was dead. But once this game came out, I'd pre-made these rings about a year ago almost now. A couple of months ago, like eight, nine months ago. And... None of them had sold, so I just thought they wouldn't be very popular. But apparently after people watched Markiplier and other streamers play the game or played the games themselves, Sunny Drop and Moon Drop were just very popular. And I think it's because they're new to the FNAF series. They're like brand new designs. That's why a lot of people are enjoying them. Although Monty Gator is not very popular. And he's a brand new design, but I guess he just doesn't have as much personality. This is the only ring I've gotten this month that's not... FNAF Security Breach, and this is Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's 1, which is odd, but, you know, sometimes that happens. They're not all going to be Security Breach, although all the other ones pretty much are. <laughs> Alright, that's looking pretty good. Get the dirt off of it. I clean the life out of these things with cotton swabs and alcohol, I tell you. Because I don't like, I really don't want a speck of dirt to be on anything. I'm not 100% perfect, so sometimes something sneaks in, but I really try my best to make it as perfect as possible. Put a little bit of this. Just enough so it'll slide down a little too. I usually like to put it in there before gluing it to make sure that it's not bulging up like it did just then, but... Oh well, I can just flatten it down like I'm doing. Press it, make sure it's nice and tight on there. If there's a little glue overspill, I try to like dab it up. Then just roll the rest out flat. And I did ask my fiance's mom, she buys me Christmas presents for some new clay rollers because. My current clay rollers are starting to get really warm, but I've had these for years. She's the one that bought me the original first set, so. I'm glad that I might possibly be getting new ones for Christmas. And. It's going to include this traditional set like this, but it also might include bigger ones for bigger projects. So, woohoo, coffee. And, um, yeah, that would be awesome. Let me put this out of the way close the glue so it don't dry up. Now I gotta make his ears. I like how I'm gonna put this as FNAF security breach related. I mean, at least you'll see the moons in progress and the sun over there, but like, technically I'm working on um, Five Nights at Freddy 1 stuff. I don't know, maybe I'll just put it as working on rings, vlog, Etsy vlog, ring making vlog, something. Either way, I just hope y'all are enjoying it. I'm still going to finish the Christmas pet sticker set. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure when. I might just go ahead and finish it up. Because I actually wanted to give one of the stickers to my fiance's mom. Because she got her son. Well, she, Santa, Santa got her son. Um, a golden retriever puppy. So that's one of the stickers, the one that I've been working on first. I wanted to give her one of those. And I wanted to give her one that says forever presents, too. But again, not finished yet. So, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. That way, if she wants to, she could stick it somewhere or scrapbook with it if she wants to. If she likes it. 
I don't know, my style is very cutesy. Not everybody probably likes my style. And that's okay. Not everybody has to like my style. Um, what else is new? Birthday, Christmas. I'll be spending Christmas with my fiance's family, as always, because Santa brings his little brother presents on Christmas Day. So I spend that day with them, and I spend Christmas Eve with my family. We've been opening up early Christmas presents. Oh, I've been watching a lot of anime recently, as always. Me and my friends, we like to watch anime together. Whether it's through real life or social distancing, we do usually do it together. Um, what else? I'm trying to think if there's anything else interesting. I had so much to say at first. Now I have, like, nothing to say. <laughs> um, also, I'm going to post a separate video, vloggy type video, I think, about this. But YouTube keeps disabling my comments on videos, marking my videos as for children. And when it does that, it disables my comments. And I can't see the comments. People can't post the comments and stuff like that. I'm not the one doing that. YouTube is doing that to me. Not me. I don't want that. If anything, I want people to be able to comment more. Lord, that pushed through just a little. Sorry, really focused. Um, but yeah, I don't want it to disable my comments or anything like that. I'm sorry if it does. I'm sorry if you can't read old comments on videos. Some of them I just cannot repair and bring the comments back. Because it's just been flagged too many times as for children. So they won't let the comments on. And it's because I make things that are similar to what kids like, like My Singing Monsters, Five Nights at Freddy's. So then they mark it as for children, even though it's not for kids. I mean, yes, it's art tutorials, but technically my intended target audience was always people about my age, not young children. But I have nothing wrong with kids watching my content. I keep things as family-friendly as possible. I try not to cuss. Although I'm a sailor off camera, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I try my best not to curse in my videos. In case there are younger viewers. Sometimes things do fly. I don't want my laptop to go in sleep. Sometimes things do fly out of my mouth unintentionally. Like the S word or the D word. But I try very hard not to on camera. There we go. That's looking good. I'm going to glue those in a little bit. But then I need to do the eyes. Um... I gotta wash my hands, and then I'm probably gonna start, well, I guess I should probably just go ahead and do the eyes and the nose, whatever. This whole video would just be me working on Foxy, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully you guys still enjoy it. Know that there are plenty of suns and moons I'm working on right now. If you're interested in those, I made a tutorial for each one. They are under my Five Nights at Freddy playlist. If you don't know where that is, I'll try to link it down below. Or I'll try to link one of the videos or both of the videos in the description or something. We shall see. And again, if I've told you in the comments before that I'm going to get to something, I promise I am. I still want to do um, Scott Pilgrim to go with... Um, gosh, I forgot her name. Flowers. Gosh. I forgot her first name. Ramona? Alright, and Foxy's done. It just needs the metal wire and the glue and stuff for support, and that's it. Lord, I done got black on the back of the red. But, I've been talking a long time, so I'm gonna try to do a little more work. Let me see how long I've been talking for. 20 minutes. And there was a video before this, so I'm going to try to edit out the bits that aren't important. And I'm going to try to record me working on one of the moon ones, too. So let me stop it for now and get the stuff ready and wash my hands for the moon sculpture. Ignore the stuff in the background. I hope it's not too loud. I really don't want to get a copyright claim for freaking Mickey Mouse music in the background. Okay, so I rolled out a ball that was a little more than this thick. So it was probably about, probably about an inch, um... What is that? Does a diameter cost when it's a... Is the word diameter when it's a sphere for the distance across? Or if that's just for a flat 2D object, like a circle? Either way, 
It was an inch-sized ball. I rolled out flat, cut it into fours. I was trying to cut it perfectly round, but I accidentally cut the tip off here, so hopefully that'll be fine. But we're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and wrap these three in them. I might go ahead and preemptively make another moon while I'm at it. So, <laughs> just in case it sells again, I'll have it ready. But this is how many I need for the orders right now. It's these three. But, um gonna go ahead and start doing this i figured i'd show a little bit of this on camera too so let's start with one that's the correct way it's supposed to be just like so i show you how i do this take it cut off the excess that i don't need so it's like a perfectly little triangle then i take it and flip it around roll it out so it's curved. There we go. I also don't need this side like that. There we go. Not 110% perfect, but we're going to try to make this work. Okay, get that over there. I'll save this excess to make noses. Then we're going to take it, put it on here, to create the face. Curve it. There we go. And then you just take it and you just wrap the excess around. Then I want this to be nice and even. So I'm going to take it where it's too far up or too far out and cut the excess off. There we go. There we go. Alright, that's good enough. Then I'm going to take one of these little excess pieces to create the nose. And I use these excess pieces to create the nose so that it's about the same thickness as what we've already done there we go and then I can just blend it into the nose there we go again you know I was mentioning it earlier I'm by no means complaining about getting cells because I've been dying for cells all year and I rarely ever hear the ka sound of Etsy but now I'm getting a lot but you know there's a day where it'll stop and it'll be back to normal again. So I'm trying to enjoy this wave while this wave is coasting, to say the least. I don't like how pointy that is. Cut that off. There we go. Alright. Then, what's next? His eye socket. Put it there so I can make sure it's nice and even. Then put the other side. I just realized before I did that, I should have done the ring base on the back, but it's fine. Just smooth, smooth, smooth. And then just grab a base to use. But yeah, and then I'm going to repeat this over and over and over and over again. That's why this YouTube video is a bit on the boring side, but that's what it's like when I get a rush of orders of the same item over and over. It's... A lot of repetitiveness. It's not like I want it to be that way, but if it's selling, it's selling. It's making people happy. It's making my business flourish. You know, all the good stuff. And this has been a really good year for me on Etsy in general, so maybe one day I'll do a video about that too. It's not going to be this video, <laughs> but maybe one day. Then just smooth out the front. Make sure that's nice and smooth, too. There we go. Then I need a mouth. Actually, first and foremost, I need to make his nose swirl. There we go. 
then his mouth. Then I try to do at least three to four teeth on the colored side of the mouths. Then on the opposite side of the mouth, I try to do just as much, if not more. <laughs> now that I got a little ball, I'm just going to press it down. And then that's what I have so far after putting the cheek on. Nice and cute. And then there's Foxy. And I got a bunch more to do, but I figured that I'm not going to keep your time and do this for hours. Otherwise, this video would take forever to edit, and it just wouldn't be fun to watch. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it was just a vloggy type thing and it was all over the place. But I couldn't do what I wanted to this week because of the high influx of orders. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Merry Christmas to you all. And I will see you all in next week's video, which I don't know what it'll be yet. We'll see when the time comes what time permits for me to do. Again, bear with me on the delayed uploadings. I'm doing the best I can. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. Bye-bye, my bunnies.